हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द सब्जेक्ट इंजीनियरिंग थर्मोडायनामिक्स व्हिच इज फॉर द थर्ड सेमेस्टर मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग वी हैव गॉट सम क्वेरीज रिगार्डिंग द थर्मोडायनामिक्स सब्जेक्ट फ्रॉम लास्ट टू डेज सो आई कैन से दैट यू कैन नॉट प्रेडिक्ट द पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चंस फ्रॉम द थर्मोडायनामिक्स एंड यू हैव टू डू द होल सब्जेक्ट वंस बिकॉज एट द एवरी पार्ट ऑफ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग यू विल फाइंड द बेसिक्स ऑफ थर्मोडायनामिक्स एवरीवेयर सो इट इज एडवाइजेबल टू गो थ्रू द सब्जेक्ट परफेक्टली because it is not that much hard that you can you can think that if you if your fundamentals are clear ones this subject is very easy but if you go with the cramming method or if if you just want to learn it once then it will be hard for you to understand this subject or to learn this subject so go with the basic go with the understanding then only and only this subject will be helpful or easy for you then uh, it is just a subject that you can pass uh, once uh, it uh, passing for this subject is it is not much harder so for the particular examination we have got some queries that how to prepare and what are the particular questions by that we can pass the examination easily we have got some questions and part, uh, before that i want to give some strategy for the examination so here you can see on the screen that i have a syllabus of engineering thermodynamics subject so there is a first module you can say that basic concept first law of thermodynamics and second law of thermodynamics which consists of 25 percentage weightage then there is a module of entropy and energy which consists of 25 percentage weightage so here what i want to show is if you go with the teaching hours you can say that uh, first of first law of thermodynamics which takes 5 hours for the teaching and second law which takes 6 hours for teaching and entropy and energy they have give they have given total 9 and 5 14 hours for teaching so you can expect that this chapter is taking higher time for teaching so as well you can understand that easily that this will also will be harder to understand particular this portion so as of now you have to go with the first of all complete the first portion basic concept first law of thermodynamic and second law of thermodynamic then skip the fourth and fifth chapter then come to directly vapor power cycle and gas power cycle from this you can expect always one or two example will be from this chapter because i can say that you cannot uh, pass the examination on the basis of theories only so there will be one or two examples from this only vapor power cycle and gas power cycle and now uh, there is a last chapter properties of gases and gas mixture so which, which consists of 10 percentage weightage and particular questions gtu ask particular questions from this chapter so you should go through this chapter thoroughly because you can expect directly seven marks questions from this chapter and uh, as of now you have to go through first of all basic concept first law of thermodynamics second law of thermodynamics and then come to vapor power cycle and gas power cycle then come to properties of gases and gas mixture and then at last you go through entropy and then energy so this will be the sequence to prepare for the thermodynamics now for the question part if you have queries regarding the subject that how much percentage of the uh, sums or how much percentage of the uh, theory portion will be asked in the et then you can expect uh, mainly four uh, four sums uh, in the examination it will consist of 28 marks so you can expect 28 marks sum from the for the examination for the et so for the first chapter as of now, we all know that there will be some theories only so you should go through the first chapter thoroughly because it will be the basic of the other thermodynamics part but these are the particular question that gtu ask again and again in the every chapter and you can expect first 14 question uh, from the first 14 question 3 to 4 question will be asked from the first chapter because it is the basics of theories and basics of all the formula basics of you can say definitions are there there are the difference quasi static process uh, they can ask this in one marker three marker four marker and as well as seven marker if they are going for the difference between microscopic and macroscopic approach then they will ask it in uh, four they can ask in four mark or they can ask it in three marks so these are particular questions that gtu can be asked in the examination then first law of the thermodynamics in the first law of thermodynamics you should go through the particular filling and emptying process for the tank or they can ask the charging or discharging of the tank 
this is the main question that this consists of very less theory very less understanding by the simple just one time reading you can uh, uh, go to uh, the first question and if they will ask this question then they will ask in 7 marks so this can give you a particular 7 out of 7 marks from this question so if they are going for this question then you should go through this question perfectly because they will ask surely the like this question filling or emptying process of the tank then first law of thermodynamics its application perpetual motion machine of and the first kind of PMM this can be asked in four mark question that PMM that violates the first law of thermodynamics there are the equation of steady flow and energy equation if you can <coughs> if once you go through the steady flow of energy equation then all the other things the like nozzle diffuser boiler throttling process will be very easy for you to understand because you just need to change change or re replace the terms in that particular equation you can say SFE equation so they will ask the steady flow of energy equation that proves steady flow of energy equation and for the particular question they will ask the particular theory so from the first law of thermodynamics you can expect that uh, derive the equation of SFE yeah, SFE equation is important because it you will ask the SFE equation every time just prove the SFE equation 7 marks just prove the SFE equation for the nozzle, prove the SFE equation for the diffuser. Examples from the nozzle and diffuser, they will ask the example and the theories again and again. So you just go through the SFE equation once, that how to prove that equation and the example on the basis of SFE equation, it will be very helpful for you to find the answer because just once you know the formula for the equation, you can easily get the answer for that particular sum. Now coming to the throttling process, they are asking throttling for process particularly and at last you can expect one example of the SFE equation which is the simple one you can just put the values in the uh, formula and get the answer now coming to the second law of thermodynamics you can see the uh, questions on the screen that Kelvin, Planck and Clausius statement will be there in the examination from this particular chapter you can expect Carnot cycle, Carnot heat engine, Carnot heat pump, Carnot theorem and one example from this chapter an example will be just based on the heat pump for a heat engine you can expect the example like this so it will be easier for you to solve just go through the fundamentals and the answer will be there for you uh, so don't miss particular these two chapters first law and second law because this will help to pass the examination easily just go through this chapter they will ask about the question from 21 to 24 marks just uh, 3 marks in the one marker question and 3 question from the first chapter basic concept and second law of thermodynamics so you can pass the examination easily by the first three chapters. Just go through basic fundamentals and get the answer of all the questions. Now coming to the entropy. Uh, uh, first of all I have told that and uh, do this chapter at last. First of all complete the first chapter, second chapter, third chapter, gas power, vapor power and last chapter and then come to entropy because it will be much uh, harder for you to understand as well as for teaching. Because one time teaching cannot uh, make sure that you can get marks particular in this chapter. Because there are there is some particular integration type formulas are there. So it will be harder for you to understand. Not uh, impossible but it is somewhere it will you will feel that it is harder. And when you will feel like that it is harder you will lose your confidence again and again. And exam uh, on the exam time it is not preferable to lose the confidence. So I am telling you that do the entropy at last. Once complete all the uh, uh, particular chapters and once you feel that now I am can I can pass the su uh, subject easily then go for the entropy then it will help you to score much. So go for the principle of increase uh, entropy as isolated system and there are there, these are some questions you can see on the screen and you can expect one example from the entropy part. Coming to the energy they will ask that energy exergy loss of work reversibility irreversibility availability second law of efficiency irreversibility and gauss rodola theorem and its application from this this chapter energy the, again i am telling you that after completion of uh, entropy do the chapter energy so it will be preferable for you as of now in the exam time for the vapor power cycle it is the easiest chapter i can say in the engineering thermodynamics because if just go through the particular cycle if they are going for the Rankine cycle then just understand the Rankine cycle how PV diagram and TS diagram coming to the picture how to solve the PV and TS diagram how to get the particular answer for particular chapter vapor power cycle 
so it will be easy for you and they will ask the example from the Rankine cycle only so if you just know the efficiency of the Rankine cycle all the efficiencies of the Rankine cycle then it will be easier for you to pass the vapor power uh, uh, go through the vapor power cycle chapter and there will be surely question of 7 marks from this chapter or they can go for the tw tw uh, 14 marks from particular chapter so go through the theories and one example because once you go through one example and you, if you know that how to solve this example perfectly then you do not have to put, put much, much amount of effort to solve the examples all the steps are same in the, all the examples just data will be changed so go through the, all the examples all the theories it will be easier for you now I'm coming to the gas power cycle in the gas cover power cycle they will go for the constant volume auto cycle and derive the efficiency and same for the Britain cycle so there will be example of auto cycle or Britain cycle you can expect then there will be effect of re heat regeneration intercooling on the Britain cycle and there will be one example related to auto or Britain cycle surely because the, this mainly GTU is asking example from the vapor power cycle and gas power cycle in the compulsory area so you cannot skip this that particular part that they will if they can ask in the or or they or in the or of that question if they are giving another question then you can skip this particular part but mainly if they are going for the question from the vapor power and gas power they will always ask in the compulsory part so go through these two chapters perfectly so it will be helpful for you now for the chapter 8 properties of gases and gas mixtures so go through the chapter once i am telling must because they can ask anything from this chapter and if you skip this chapter then you are losing 7 marks because it is very easy the Avogadro law very easy to understand Gibbs Dalton law very easy to understand Van der Waal equation easy ideal gas equation you have learned in the 11-12 chemistry uh, uh, that is very easy to learn all the questions from this chapter so do not skip a single question or single theory from this chapter if you go once just read this particular chapter it will be easier for you to solve the whole chapter and get the full marks so again I am repeating the strategy that how to go with the particular part first go with the basic concept first law of thermodynamics second law of thermodynamics then go with the vapor power cycle gas power cycle then complete the properties of gases and gas mixture and at last go with the entropy and energy portion go with all the particular part you can easily solve the examples and it will be easy for you to pass the examination so again if you like this video and if you find this video helpful for others then please like share and subscribe and you have doubts regarding mechanical engineering then you can whatsapp us on the given numbers thank you